I'd like to thank everybody for the wonderful, wonderful birthday wishes. Uh, I love you all. Thank you. And Gina, uh, I love you, of course, most of all. Thank you so much for the consideration on my birthday. And to the people who have been so loyal to Sankofa, it has meant an awful lot to us, and I think a lot of people who have benefited from the work that we do in Sankofa. And we could not do it without you. I thank you. I was born in the ghetto. My mother was a domestic worker. My father was a seaman. I grew up in Harlem. I grew up not only with racism and segregation in America, but I grew up in the West Indies uh, under colonialism. And my, and my, 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 <clears throat> my aunts and uncles and my grandparents were agriculturalists. They were farmers. And I saw what they did from morning until night and what their rewards were under the, the might of uh, British exploitation. Yet I've come into my own manhood and, uh, and I have sought to apply myself to this world. I have children. I have high hopes for them. I fought in the Second World War. I was in the United States Navy. I was told then and I fought with the knowledge that this was the war to end all wars that we were going to defeat fascism and mankind could turn its attention to the best that was in man. And now I come and my son is 10 years old and I will arm him with everything that I can so that he will be free of any primitive medieval, you know, concepts about false patriotism, about boundaries, about the meaning of flags. You know, mankind is much bigger than all of these primitive symbols. And I don't want to see my boy with his face uh, stuck in some rice paddy off in Vietnam or off in some other land, protecting the interests of the establishment and, and trying to reward their greed with his life. Uh, I'm opposed to it. And I don't want him to be armed with a sense of being able to go off and destroy another human being anywhere in the world whom he's never known. It's, 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 it's inhuman. It's terrible. And the reason I hang around is to make sure that uh, in my old age, if I live to see it, that uh, I will be able to say that in my lifetime I, I did all that I could with what was at my disposal because I would hate for my children to look at me and to say, uh, where were you during the moment of the great decision? Harry Belafonte, the singer, actor and civil rights activist who broke down racial barriers, has died aged 96, as well as performing global hits such as Day or the Banana Boat Song, winning a Tony Award for acting and appearing in numerous feature films, Belafonte spent his life fighting for a variety of causes. He bankrolled numerous 1960s initiatives to bring civil rights to black Americans, campaigned against poverty, apartheid, and AIDS in Africa, and supported left-wing political figures such as Cuba's Fidel Castro and Venezuela's Hugo Chavez. The cause of death was congestive heart failure, his spokesman told the New York Times. Figures including the rapper Ice Cube and um, Mia Fowler paid tribute to the Bella Fonte. The U.S. news anchor Christian tweeted that he inspired generations around the whole world in the struggle for an environment, resistance, justice, and change. We need his example now more than ever. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.